We're here in Berlin for PFL Europe 2. I'm joined by two of the most exciting and interesting fighters on the card, Dylan Tuke and Connor Hughes. So I'll go to the one that speaks the least of all. <laughs> Connor, how are you feeling? I'm feeling good, though. I'm feeling good. What's it like being sat across from your opponent? Just another day, isn't it, really? Nothing new. You don't see me every day. Yeah, but I fight <laughs> people every day. How are you feeling? Fresh, good. Yeah. So happy. Weight cuts easy? Easy as <laughs> Better weight milked up the way. So is this, it, it, does it give you confidence that you're coming in lighter and you feel like he's cutting harder than you? No, because we do the same shit, like, you know what I mean? So when I'm at better weight, I'm cutting the same shit. So I know what he's going through, but it's part of the job. He doesn't care. It motivates him. Like, I know the same way it motivates me. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, sitting at the end going, oh, I've done this with some whatever. I can't course, can I? You can say what you like. I've done this with some other so, like, you know what I mean? I want to go out and make him pay for doing this. So I get that. Mm. You know what I mean? So, f it. It's part of the job. He knows what he's signed up for. What's the biggest challenge fighting Connor? Just his hands. Just his hands. He's a good counter puncher. He had a good counter puncher. But that's it. Good pressure. Good counter puncher. Good kickboxer. Mm. How is he underestimating you? In every way, I think. Not I, all. I think, I think he is. I think he thinks that no. I've not been tested, and I think he thinks that that's he's going to walk through me. That's a fact. That's and a I fact think that you haven't been tested. Well, that's I think that's going to be your your downfall. No, not I at all. think that's going to be your major problem. That's not me underestimating. That's me just stating facts. So why do you feel like he's not been tested? You haven't been tested. You fought nobody. You know you fought nobody. Who have you fought? Me, Sadiq mm. Yusuf. And how did that go? Yeah, I got robbed that one, but he still fought. Still went there. <laughs> you did, yeah, there. you fought, fought him. Fought Cameron Ellis on the biggest stage. I fought big names. Ben Trey was yeah, a big you, name. Yeah, you got opportunities. No, you mate. You got big opportunities. opportunities. You got opportunities. You think I got Sadiq because it was meant to be an opportunity for me? See, there you go. <laughs> what are you expecting from him, style-wise? You've watched his fights. You've researched one another, it seems. You, you've, you've got a good idea of one another's career. What are you expecting from him? He, he's he's going to look to grapple, obviously. He's, he, he thinks that I don't have a, have a grappling pedigree. He thinks it's going to be easy for him. So he's obviously going to look for that. He's going to look for me to overextend. He's going to look to duck under me. And he's going to try and stall it. I don't shoot. I'm six foot. Shooting on people doesn't mean Not a double leg, you don't know. What, what's the benefit in having losses on your record? Tell me that. That isn't like that. I've been Lessons? Tested. I've been there. I've been there. With the lessons, but like, I've never... I like lessons, definitely. I more learned, I more learned lessons from the Ben Trey fight. So that was the most lessons I learned from the fight. And then the other things in camps and stuff. Then when I was coming to the other fights, I don't know. Just almost felt like I was just shelling myself coming into some of them. Like you know what I mean? Oh look, the past is the past. So learn from your shit. So I'm good now. Lessons. D do you feel lessons like there's lessons on lessons? On lessons. Mm. Do you I feel like, like there's a rivalry lessons. between your two cities? Because it feels like there's always been a rivalry between Dublin and uh, Liverpool to me. We built Liverpool. It always, always seems like there's, 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 there's a connection, but there's also a rivalry. I've, 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 actually, I've actually got an Irish family, so I'm not, not going to bad mouth the Irish at all, to be honest. I know you do. You're a second name like that. Yeah. Well, well, one of, well, one of the same. We are one of the same. That's a fact. We are mm. one of the same. So, so do you ever sit... Uh, I mean, of course, you never sit across the table from an opponent normally during fight night. This is obviously a different thing for you, but... We were talking during our week. Yeah, but do you feel like... This is my question. Do you feel like you guys would get on if you were in the same gym? Would you train well together? Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I, I think I think if the, the circumstances were different, we would actually get on, to be honest. No, we would, 100%. Yeah, yeah definitely. We feel like it. So, so how is this now? Because you're sitting here now. We're going to be fighting very soon. You, you, you know you've got, to, you've got to take one another out to get to Paris. How's that feel? Do you want to go? Now? <laughs> like, do you want to, no, no, do you want to <laughs> say what you're saying? What do you mean? About this. This is a lot of bollocks. He's <laughs> just trying to build something that me and him have a he. We don't give a f about him. He doesn't give a f about me. You know what I mean? On Saturday we go out there and we do a job that we're paid to do. Some of us are paid, some of us well paid. You know what I mean? I just heard my landlord's making a fast sack and I'm sick that I didn't ask for more money. But <laughs> look, here it is. This is the job. I have to come yeah. and do this. He has to come and do this. Exactly. If he doesn't come to do this, he'll get fined. If I don't come to do this, I'll get fined. But but you do that you do this at the same time because it's a part of the job of, of like That's selling the fight to the fans. Yeah, of course. There are a lot of fans out there that are not aware of you guys. Yeah, yet, yeah. But this weekend they will be because this is going to be a fireworks fight. It's business at the end of the day. We we're here for for something that we want. So. But it, but it, at the same time, yeah, you are it. You are both here for the same goal. That there's a hundred thousand dollars on the table in Dublin, waiting for someone to go and collect it. It's not though. It's invisible money. It doesn't exist yet. You know what I mean? Not you know yet, it doesn't. Yeah, but it doesn't. It's not real. It's just in your head. Like, you know what I mean? You say it's not. A hundred grand isn't here. This isn't like dodgeball. You're about to think a hundred grand doesn't look like what it looks like. In Would the it movies. feel more, more real if I put the hundred grand the belt on the table? No, mate. Because we'd smack about you and I'm running. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> Me and George are back on a flight back to Scotland. I have a hundred grand in my pocket. Like, I'm not thinking like that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Flash cash. I'm running. But I don't know. 
doesn't, I don't know, I don't think about it like that. It makes the occasion bigger than it is. It's me and him at a higher level in a cage. Mm. That's all it is. So me and him down at MMA Academy, isn't it? Mm. Do you just have a cage? Yeah. In a cage. Yeah. So who's grown more since the last time you fought? Who, who's developed more? You only fought a couple of weeks ago. I think, I think I've developed massively. I think I developed massively after every fight, to be honest. I think if you look at me fight, the last fight to the fight before and the fight before that, I think you see a difference in all. I'm forever learning, so, you know, I, I think, uh, I think I've got, I've got a work rate and, and I push myself to, to improve all the time and I think you're going to see a bigger, better performance again on Saturday. And what about you? I'm always improving. It's always the same shit to me. Every day is the same. There is no camp, there is no improvement. Get better. I am what I am. Every day I get better. Do you research? Do you research in training camp when you were getting ready for an opponent? Do I watched Connor a couple of times. I watched yeah. him the other day. It's nice to just see a body type. But I'm standing in front of him more this week. So I can figure this body type out like that. Like, you know what I mean? He'll fill up a little bit, but I can figure out how tall he is, how long he is. So what did you see in your research? How did your research of Dylan educate your training camp? Well, it's hard really because, you know, his last two fights have both finished in the first round. Apart from that, he hasn't really fought for a, for a good number of years. So, you know, there's a, there's a, it's hard to fully base everything that he does because there's such the time gap in between and the, how quick the fight's finished. Paris is in, f in, the, in your future if you win this fight this weekend, mm. right? And, and I know you say the money doesn't exist, but in three fights time, if you win, it's right in front of you in your pocket, in your bank account. I don't care about the money, man. I just want the world title. Is it not about the money? No, f the money born it. I don't need money. I just want a world title. What about you? I want both. F the money. I want both. F okay. Nah, I want a world title. Well, that's, that's where me and you were different. Well, sit there. Yeah, I want a world title, of course, but I want the money also. It's prize fighting at the end of the nah, day. F it. I've done all that. I don't care about the money. The money will come with it anyway. It's there anyway. You'll win the world Yeah, it, it'll come, yeah. Just, but exactly. Just, so you care about money then, don't you? No, no. You ju you've no, just said, you just said no, you get a world title. It'll come. It'll come. It'll come. So, I'll take yeah, it. exactly. I don't care about it. Don't walk about it. Don't take about it. Yeah. I'm only thinking about the world titles. You should think about money. Don't think about money. Anymore. No, I'm thinking about legacy. Nah, That's what legacy I'm thinking about. World titles. World titles. Yeah, exactly. Money. So I'm not just thinking about money, am I? World titles. Legacy. I don't give a f about money. I'll give all my money away in a minute. I get it. I'll give it all to my sister. I don't, I don't yeah, yeah, exactly. What, yeah, do, well, what do you think I want the money for? What do you think I want? What do you think I want it for? You know what I mean? Nobody yeah, but to, it. to give them a, to that. give them a better future, though. Yeah, but what I'm saying is I don't give a f about that. I give a f about the world title. That's money. That's what I'm you saying. Don't you, don't about, about, you don't give a f about you don't give a little sisters. No, they'll be looked after. They'll be looked well, after. Well, there we go then. No, no, no. But they're looked after anyway, chat. They're looked after now to this day. This day they're looked after. You think I don't look after my sisters now? I'm not saying that. That's what I'm saying to you. They're already set, so that money doesn't really affect them. We can give it to them. They can have a little bit of a better life, but they're good now. You mm. know what I mean? So it's not like they're just going to go and get Gucci and f all these fancy stuff. I'm just going to get rinsed if I give them loads of money. But what I'm saying is that's not my concern. The money, whatever, just the world title. I just want that. I get that you want the money in the world title. I get that. But what I'm saying is I just want that. That's mm. all. I get what you're saying, but. You know what I mean? We just yeah. want the world to work. Like, we've been fighting. I've got two fights for free. <laughs> Offered to pay me opponents. Like, you know what I mean? That's a different ball that I'm on now, kid. So what do you have to do then to secure your legacy in MMA? Keep winning. Starting this year, if you win the European beat two. title. Yeah, beat two. Beat whoever's in Paris. Beat whoever's in Dublin. Win the world title. And then I'm, I'm looking on the million dollars and, you know, doing, doing what you want to do at the same time. Carry on that lightweight though. I'm not going to featherweight. Good night, by the way. <laughs> no way. Um, going to lightweight and becoming the world champion and winning the million dollars and then carrying on from there. How would it feel if you were in Dublin watching him fight for the world title, for the European title? Oh, that'd kill me. It's not going to happen, but that'd kill me. That's the only thing I don't want to happen. Nobody else fighting in my home nation for my title. That'd kill me. But what'll happen? Do you think that'll happen on Saturday? Do you think ahead to the other fights? Are you thinking about Paris? No. Are you thinking about Dublin? No, not yet. I'm on the same bus as you. Mm. You looked at the rest of the rest of the bracket. Not I don't even know any other names except for your man Alex, and I'm sure you know his name as well. He's the only one the PFL have been spelling. Mm. Cheers off. There you go. I thought I was against him first, to be honest. I know. I, I manifested you. I said I'd get you. Did first. you? Ah, so you mentioned. So this you were to thinking me about yesterday. me? I'm interested in this. No, so I've seen the bracket. Wh so I just why said did I'd you get think that was the matchup? Why did you think that's what that was the matchup you'd get? I don't know. I just think it was like. I don't know, just manifest it, I was like, I'll get you as force. And I said, i get Alex in the final. Mm. And if we see you in the final, who do you think you're going to be facing? Again, I haven't thought about him. Um, 
I haven't thought about any of them really, to be honest. I've just got to focus on him and take him out first. That's my first job. You've talked about it. You've looked at the black and you've went. I've looked at the black, of course. Exactly like you have. But um, I, haven't, I haven't thought about who I'm going to be seeing in the final. I haven't even thought about who, who I'm fighting next. And we know who's in the next bracket. Who would give him the most trouble in the, in the rest of the brackets, style-wise? Like, how does he match up with the rest of the people in the lightweight division? Mm. Are you the two best in the lightweight division? Is there someone better in the bracket than the people sitting in front of you right now? So when you first found out the matchup, when you first found out you were facing Dylan, what was your, what was your first feeling? Let's do it. Let's go. What about you, Dylan? Look, he's marketable. He's 7-0. and oh. it's, it's, go it's a good thing for him, you know what I mean? This English boy that bringing in that 7-0 and oh is in here to become this champion. Head off the say I'm here to be like, ha-ha, dusted. You two are opposite ends of the spectrum when it comes to style. We've got chaos and we've got control. That's how I see this fight. I don't think I'm chaos. I think I'm like mad as in there talking, <laughs> like, but I'm not chaos. I don't fully chaos. No. But, it's, but do, would you agree it seems chaotic, his style? He's, there's an unpredictability to his style, I would say. Yeah, he, uh, I, think there's, I think he's smarter than what people make out. What? Who but makes him I think, But I think... <laughs> not in his face. But I think... Um, but I, I, I do think I'm more calm and controlled in terms of me fighting style and how I fight. Cool. That's, that's my opinion, so. Right, cool. Sweet. We all have opinions. Mm -hmm. We all have ourselves. Exactly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who's the better martial artist, skill-wise? I'm more well-rounded. You can't even say I'm more well-rounded than me. No joking, so I'm more well-rounded. More well-rounded how? I am. I'm better everywhere. How? I'm a better grappler than you. Come on, I am. I how? Am. Well, I'm a legit hard walking brown belt in the gi. Okay. So if we rolled in the gi... Are you a better striker than me? You're a good kickboxer. I think... We'd have a good striker match. I don't think that I'm out class like you think. So it's so it's mixed then. It's mixed. So you're a better grappler and no, a better striker. No, I don't think striker. I'm a better striker. I mean, I, I, I don't strike you. You, you reckon? I don't strike you. Yeah, definitely. Okay. One hundred percent. We'll see. You just hit harder. That's about it. Mm. But I'm fast. I'm a great striker. I'm fast as well, you know. Yeah, but I'm And I'm accurate. Yeah. And I've got good timing. Yeah. I don't miss. I, I don't miss. I know you have good timing. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah. I watch you. Can't time this. Look, look, let's be realistic. You're two of the most exciting and, and promising prospects that we've got in Europe. I'm not bullshitting you. I know, that's facts. That's facts. Mm. But you've doesn't. got to go through one another to get to where you want to be. We know. We've mm. known for eight weeks. I think that's a good place to leave it. I'm excited for this fight, and I think after watching this, you guys will be as well. Dylan to Connor Hughes, two of the best prospects that we've got in Europe, soon to be two of the best prospects in the world, but you're going to find that out this weekend. Good luck, guys.